Hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. My little screencast about org mode. Today is Thursday, day 4 of episode 4. And we look at another function that is very useful, that's column view. Uh, the goal is we want to show the contents of our org file now in sort of columns. And for that we have to define uh, the format of the lines that we want to see. I have put a column definition up here. You remember you, you write it uh, with the hashtag and then plus columns and you put the format information and then you press Ctrl C twice so that it gets uh, activated or when you load the file again it's all met, uh, automatically activated. And the syntax for this file, uh, for this line is, is really easy. It starts with a percentage and a number. That's the number of uh, characters for that column, the column wife. And uh, then it has a keyword, in that case it's to do. That means one of those to do keywords you will see. Then in the parentheses there is the uh, title of this column. Then we have a space, we have the next column, that's a 40 character wide column about item. Item is what you write in your headline here or here or wherever and then we have one column with tags you know we have just defined one tag in this structure but uh, if you have more tags you will see them in the columns and then a very useful thing we have a column that is a uh, function clock sum and it's uh, labeled with clock and you remember the other day when we talked about time tracking and clocking, there was the option that you say, okay, control C, X, D, I show you the, the clocks and uh, this information can, you can also show in column view. So let me move that away and we just enter column view by control C, control X and control C again. So control C, X, C. And you see we are in column view, that means your headlines uh, get a gray background that you really realize, oh I'm in column view. And here you have the to-do keyboard, you have the item, the task, you see up here are the headlines for the columns. And here you have that uh, column for the text that you used, and here is the clock sum. And if you Look at the clock sum. You know it is uh, done things here. Have uh, children like setting up the stage and so on. So you see how this uh, sum, how those 40 minutes sum up from uh, 25 minutes setting up the stage, 8 minutes of recording and 7 minutes of uploading. So this is column view. It's uh, sometimes very helpful if you want to have a, a bit of a different look at your file and you can leave column view any time uh, when you are inside uh, the columns with your cursor you just press Q and you are back to your normal view. The nice thing about column view is now here we have defined a global format for the columns but you remember those books that we we are collecting, I guess, one or two weeks ago with the first template. We can have a column view for the books as well. I just press Ctrl C, X, C, and this one looks a bit different. It has still the to do keyword, but then uh, the next column is labeled book, and I see that the book information, and then, oh, surprise, surprise, we have genre and pages. And if you remember, those are properties that I have assigned to this headline. So you see with column view you can uh, quickly view your property values. And that's much uh, more helpful than if I have to open the properties drawer and look for something. If I put it in column view like that, I see with one spot this is 352 pages and this is 302 and the other way I should have to open the properties drawer oh, and here is the information that I want. How did we do it? Of course we 
defined on the books level, on the hey, uh, parent level, we defined a um, columns property that has the same format as above, but now it looks a bit different. We have 8 characters wide to do information, 40 items, uh, 40 characters an item. Then we have the genre from the uh, properties, that means you have to, to write really what you used as property. And we have the pages, five characters wide pages, and the result is that we see what we want to see. Of course we can uh, quit this as well with Q, and yeah, that was column view. A very helpful thing, very easy to use, and uh, well, this was just the basics, uh, tomorrow we will extend it a bit and I show you some more tweaks about column view, but for day, uh, today this should be enough. Thanks for watching, as usual, thanks for all the comments and the questions that you give me, because uh, then I get some inspiration what I can explain in the next episodes and thanks for all the thumbs up and uh, the subscriptions to my YouTube channel. So stay tuned, I'll be back and we see you next time.